the 2018 Westmoreland Glass Collectors Club Show, the National Westmoreland Glass Collectors Club Show, June 2018. I already made my first purchase off of Allen over here. Yes, I do. I'm buying all these trivets, trinket, bridge sets, old Westmoreland. So we're going to start around the room. We're going to start out with some Argonaut and Mary Gregory plates. Come across some colonial jars. Two different sizes. These are really nice. Those are uh, older Westmoreland. The older decorations. Here we have some pieces with cuttings on them. And these spectacular plates here. I've never seen these. There's a Collector's Club commemorative bulldog. Put the uh, name and date and everything on the back of it. This is an original bulldog. Slag, love birds. <laughs> Pink robin on a twig nest. What's that black thing next It's a pretty rare piece of panel grape here. You don't see this very often. That's really nice. Oh, there's another rare piece of panel break. Westmoreland certainly made a variety of different glassware. <laughs> this is one of the older pieces. It's cold paint from the 20s. And then Rookwood. I have a video out there on just Rookwood. Pottery effects on glass. And here's one that you just don't see. That same period is the brown. But you can actually see what the glass is like because they, they only did some of the piece. Mods and ends, and shoes. They have the clear. And the very first convention in 1990, commemorative plate. Well used, huh? Some original catalogs from the 1979. When you come to one of these shows, you see things that you just don't see anywhere else, like this piece. I've never seen that decoration before. And it's all in one place. And a lot of the prices are pretty good. Huh? These chickens are ten dollars, but the collectors may have twelve of them. So there's an underplate for the dresser set. Rose. There's an old time Cupid side with pretty nice paint. And some of the specialty glasses they made for different people. Ruby. I know what you mean, but there's still some decent guns there. Wedding bowl candlesticks. When I go in, I know what I'm looking for. You run one out, one side, I run one side. She collects them with you, doesn't she don't bitch too much. No, she's fine. You know. Yeah. <laughs> don't even roll for a scope revolt. I'm not here to shoot rifles. I got enough ammo. You know. Never have enough. Well. 
But any more, there's a pitch everywhere. Napkin rings. Those are pretty hard to come by. The old log cabin bank. Mustard. And the chimney is broken out on this one. Also, kids used to break them out, use them for a bank. That was their intended purpose. Piggy bank. Some wall pockets. Lamps. Right when I got here, somebody broke the top on their lamp. Oh, you! <clears throat> this is a really unusual dolphin calm port with that decoration inside. I'm trying to find another one of those. And look at the unusual decoration on this. You'll see the roses and you'll see the forget-me-nots, but not with the yellow in it like that. There's a Shalinor and Taylor knockoffs that Westmoreland did. You open lace edge plates. They put a lot of birds on them too, pheasants and things like that. There were some here last year. Here's a clear panel grape wine set. Some oil lamps. There's a clear turtle. One of the things you can do if you study this video is you'll recognize things when you're out in the wild at Goodwill and you'll say, hey, that's Westmoreland. I saw it on Pittsburgh Fast Video. Various bud bases. Westmoreland called that color Laurel Green. <laughs> These milk glass leaf plates come up often out in the wild. A lot of people made them. They're just a little candy dish, card receiver. There's some big ones in crystal. And you know they're Westmoreland because this one's got a sticker. And here's the one that's divided. You don't see that very often. There's George Washington, one of the most overused molds they had that started losing the detail. There's a bigger one than that, too. There's a panel grape punch bowl. Yeah. Ring and pedal candlesticks in a light pink color. It's Mary Gregory on blue. Most you see are on black. Look at all the different borders that we have here. We got the H border and the knotted border. So we have a box of cup plates. Now I'm going to take a look at this box. I bet it's the original box that came. Look at that. That's the original box full of cup plates. It's a complete set. Oh, look at the toy punch bowl set. Isn't that nice? Who knew? And that's in the original box, too. Check that out. And here we have somebody who's buying baskets. Here we have a bunch of paperweights, very nicely decorated.
couple of milk glass. We have small butterflies. This is a really nice table of smalls. You have all your birds. How many different colors they made them in. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Just when you think you have them all, you see another color. That's cardinals. Birds on a stump. Mini lights. The older style and the newer style from the 70s. That film and color came out around 1974 or so. They used it on a lot of their pieces. We saw an old quilt box the other day in Palman. An ivy ring and a uh, dogwood basket, a ruby flash. Canister back there with strawberries on it. A small old quilt cake plate. Now look at the base on that. It's different than I've ever seen. Thimbles, pin trays, and a princess feather. Banana okay, bowl. So what do we have here? We with have a door candlestick stuck to the bottom. Twenty dollars. There is twenty-five. That's cool. Okay. Twenty-five for the two plates. That's great. That's a tree. That's good. The tree. Yeah. Panel grape and laurel green. Yeah, I'm trying to find that somewhere else. Pink owl bookends. It says as is. Must be a little bit of damage, but even finding. Our bookend is insanely impossible. There's a Doric lace in different colors. You can find the diamond dozen in white, but black and ruby, you got to come to the show. There's all your various bells. These are collectors that uh, most of them were around when the factory was open. And, uh, a lot of other stuff right at the factory, or at the auction it when the factory closed. <laughs> Look at all the owls on bookends. And the big one pound owls. Time out from the glass for the glass books. Imperial, Westmoreland. Benton. Fenton Special Orders, more Fenton, there's a Lebedo, right, right. we knew they made it in that color, some more Fenton, Carnival Glass, there's a high seat stemware, some more Fenton, now these books came from Youngwood from the Wolf Emporium and visited on Short Street in Youngwood across the street. And the proprietor is Joan Wolf. There's an E on the end. W-O-L-F-E. She's treasurer of the Westmoreland National, the National Westmoreland Collectors Club. A lot of these signs pop up and people like to call them federal, but uh, Westmoreland made them also. A lot of, a lot of chatter. George Washington. No, that's the yeah, that's got to be George Washington on the H quarter plate.
I've been told this was the 50th anniversary decoration whenever they uh, painted it all gold like that. Not one of my favorites, not a lot of other people's favorites either. Here you have Thumbelina and Crystal. Yeah. Black glass when they went crazy with black glass. Right with that close. Here we have a lot of roses and bows. Decoration number 32, Westmoreland glass, most popular decoration. And there's a Charlton rose chicken. There's an eagle over there. And a rabbit. How much for the rabbit? Greg Jennings, this guy here. He's molding this stuff out in his garage. He makes new ones every day. That's what I accuse him of anyway. He's got the owls. Nice Dory Ruby set there. He's been popping up a lot lately. I thought I had the only one in the world. Now we're at Dee's table. She always has the nicest stuff. You got the mini hens. These are Westmoreland, but you'll find them uh, very similar ones made by Boyd Art Glass in about 230 colors. Those are Westmoreland. Those are all ear dyes. Now we have the marble. Some people call it marble, some people call it swirl, some people call it slag. We got a nice light green milk glass duck. Here we have one of the slag, marble. And here's a marble kitty. <laughs> Mostly black. Nice black cat with white on the back. Little blue chicken. Most chickens you find this color are made in Asia, so be careful. Actually, we're starting that one at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Looks to be a charcoal decoration. Yeah, it might not be. I don't have any more of the cards left, but Jean Gordon. We've got a Mother of Pearl Santa. Oh, this Santa's hand painted. A lot of them have a sticker on them. Uh, transfer. That one's hand painted. One pound owl, blue fox, raised wing swan, nice price on that. Little Westmore Specialty Company sprinkling can, still has the wire bail handle. Oh, Fort Pitt Blockhouse. What is that in good condition? Especially log cabin, and this one doesn't have the chimney broken out of it. The glass is real thin there. The kids were instructed by sticker to break that out and use it for a piggy bank. I wonder if the sticker's still on the bottom here. Check that out. No sticker. Oh, West Moon. West Brothers candy containers. Telephone. Well, that one with a piece of plastic on it would have to be a newer one, that's for sure. The old suitcase with the traveling bears on it. West Moon Specialty Company. There's a horn, candy horn. Fire truck. Candy container is a train. <laughs> you don't see you see a lot of hens with the blue heads, but you don't see a lot of roosters. You just don't see a lot of roosters. Mother Eagle chicks. This one especially peeps on a basket. This one has the space for the mustard label. The hat ashtray.
Some Westmore specialty baskets. D likes the old stuff. The Rookwood piece. Original Bulldog with the original collar. Not cheap. Chicks on an egg pile. Now, is it just me or is one taller than the other? I think that one's a quarter inch taller. Now we're going to get into some exciting original Westmoreland cardboard boxes. Can you imagine? Straight from the factory. A lot of Westmoreland, what they call this, uh, ephemera. Salesmen's report on new customers. Customer order forms. Nice. Not often seen. A bunch of beaded edge plates. Different decorations. Oh, they seem to change decorations about every year or so. What the, what they would put on different pieces. Lots of odds and ends here. Butt bases. Lots of little green daisy pieces. Thousand eye. Some almond cameo lamp tops. And nice blue and white kitties. And catalog pages. It has some factory scenes on it. Dolphin Palm Port. It looks like he's making a panel grape uh, punch ball here. And there's the Dolphin Palm Port. Dolphin Palm Port being made. Yep. Uh, that must be what he's making there too. The Dolphin Palm Port. <coughs> Is checking that. All that good news. Decorated panel break pieces. <laughs> Catalog 500. And they, they must have called this Dory Clear Crystal Lace, number three. Interesting. These are the items that are for sale that have been hand decorated. For sale to show here. Really? A lot of bulldog here last year with Steelers decoration. One of these guys. I brought the lead piece over to put next to Dee's glass piece made in the same exact mold. This one, the one on the right, milk glass, made in the factory, and the one on the left, lead. Somebody sneaked that into the factory and poured that. One of a kind.
never see anything like that again. We learned that these lead pieces were part of the mold making process to work the bugs out before they start using glass in the factory floor. They could test off site using hot lead at the mold maker shop and then send these pieces for approval and work the bugs out, see if there's any flash, any more uh, work needed to the mold before they bring it to the factory and put it into production. So these, these lead pieces served a purpose. Nice. And it's lunchtime at the show. This is the 2018 National Westmoreland Glass Collectors Club show held every June in Youngwood, Pennsylvania at the Westmoreland County Community College. I hope you enjoy watching. This is Pittsburgh Fap with the Westmoreland Glass Show. Happy hunting. Don't tell my wife I bought all those bridge set pieces. Westmoreland Specialty Company. I bought them all.